Hatchery foods are used to feed larva stage and their prey items during hatchery culture. They are usually cultured on site at the hatchery and the common species include microalgae and zooplankton. The first hatchery feed that I like to talk about is microalgae. There are several microalgae commonly cultured for hatchery farm either for the use of fish larvae itself or for feeding their prey such as rotifers, daphnia and moina that contain a great source of protein for fish larvae. The first and most common microalgae culture is pirulina. It is a simple one-celled spiral-shaped microalgae that grows naturally in warm fresh water. It is produced from cyanobacteria or blue-green algae with high protein content from 55 to 77 percent depends on the source. Therefore, spirulina is currently also cultured more towards supplemental feed to be given to larger fish. Another popular source of microalgae is chlorella, which is a spherical-shaped single-celled microorganism with a nucleus. Chlorella grows in fresh water and is extremely small, with each chlorella cell being a mere 2 to 8 microns wide. Similar to spirulina, chlorella also can be cultured in open pond and harvest as dry powder due to their high protein content. Then we have ulva lactuca or commonly known as sea lettuce. Since it is saltwater seaweed, it can be cultured and supplied to marine species. There are also ulva produced for supplemental feed and feed additive for some species such as sea brim. It has been documented as well that the inclusion of up to 10% of ulva in black sea brim feed could repress lipid accumulation in their body. Next, we have Dunaliella, a green microalgae famous for its antioxidant content whereby it could produce a large amount of beta-carotene for fish pigmentation. Therefore, it is very useful for the production of ornamental fish to enhance their pigmentation color. Another source of marine algae is Nanochloropsis, which is well known for its ability to produce omega-3 PUFA. This microalgae has received interest to be cultured for rotifer and artemia to increase their PUFA content and consequently become food for marine larva fish and crustacean. To culture algae, scale up procedure by using monospecific culture is commonly used in hatcheries. The culture will start from a starter culture in 500 ml bottle and transfer it from container to container to back culture with sterile water by running the water through UV sterilizer to prevent from bacteria contamination. The culture will grow by maintaining them under controlled temperature and sunlight with adequate nutrient media and aeration. Bags of algae culture will then be transferred to indoor or outdoor pond culture. There are other inexpensive procedures to culture algae such as by exposing natural water pond or tank with organic or inorganic fertilizer and we will get natural phytoplankton bloom. However, this method might be unreliable because we might have little control over the species in the culture. Some algae species might not be nutritious for the aquaculture species. Therefore, monospecific culture of algae is advisable to control the species culture. It is easier to scale up and minimize the bacteria contamination in the aquaculture system.